Hey, good morning. Afternoon, technically. We have been up potting peppers and did a little last minute seeding of some sweet peppers for market. And we're going to go work in greenhouse number one. And uh, I think Tiffany is taking a look at her garlic. So let's flip you around, let you take a look at the garlic. So, looks like it's growing. I think she needs to put some mulch down. But it is growing quite nicely. She's got some out of the ground, so they definitely need mulch. Yeah. You happy with it? I am. Even though you need to mulch it? Uh, well, we are heading to greenhouse number one, so you're going to get to see it in all of its glory because we've done no prep work, no cleaning. This is just how it would have been the last time we did anything in it. And it is hot. I think we're going to need to install a couple more roof vents in here. This baby is warm. I'd say we're easily over 100 degrees in here right now. So what we got to do is we got to clean up and prep these beds. Meantime. Put some new compost on them. We've got our Daddy Pete's organic cow manure. And uh, these beds have to be cleaned, prepped. The stuff that's left in them that don't need to be here has got to be pulled. And we have got to get them ready to be planted. Uh, shortly there will be plenty of uh, eggplants coming in here. But right now, we need to build a rack over top of these that we're going to uh, put some of our plants on. And we'll have to get our automatic vents installed too because the plants can't get like this, 100 and some degrees. Um, Speaking of, I'm going to go turn the water on in here. So, looking good. I'll bring y'all back in just a minute. So here's what we're doing. We are building... A raised rack that'll be above the bed obviously about five and a half six feet and this rack will give us the ability to put up here on top we will up here we'll go with a, a wire and uh, that allows to put our some of our uh, seedlings up here starts for the garden and that we sell so that we can relieve a little bit of stress on our seed germination room where we work with our seedlings so some of the older ones can come on out here and they'll enjoy the sun and the warmth. So uh, obviously I've only got three legs so far so I need to go cut three more legs and then we're going to have uh, at least one crossbar but probably two. So I hope you can kind of see that. So me and Tiffany have got to go get some more. We'll be back. All right, we are about done. Morgan is putting the final staples in. Tiff Tiffany's got the drip irrigation going. Morgan is finishing up putting the wire down on the bed. So we are ready. Uh, put plants on here we've added a gutter over here and we're probably going to add a couple more i think we'll do some gutter strawberries over here on this side of the greenhouse probably going to put one more gutter in here and we're going to do some gutter strawberries so we're using some leftover fence wire that we had from another project so that's recycled most of this wood is used wood there's a few pieces 
that were new. But all in all, I think it's going to turn out real well. It's going to function for us. This will leave us plenty of room that we won't have to take it down. Plenty of room to grow our eggplants underneath there. We grow um, miniature eggplants in here. Like uh, we grow fairy tale and Hansel and Morgan. What's the other one? Oh, come on, Morgan. What goes of Hansel? And Gretel. And Gretel. So we grow a white one, a purple one, and fairy tale is streaked. It's striped. So it's white and purple. So we'll grow, we'll likely grow Hansel and Gretel here. And then we'll probably grow fairy tale down this side. And then that side, we'll do something else. Maybe cucumbers or tomatoes may go over there. Um, probably cucumbers will end up going over there. So right here, some of Tiffany strawberries. Uh, these are some uh, yellow wonder, what they would consider a wild strawberry. They're small, like an alpine style. Uh, we sell these plants. Uh, so they'll be ready to, actually some of these guys are ready to go right now. Real nice growth on these. So it's looking good. So Morgan, is that a successful project? I think so. Hopefully it doesn't break down. Now what are we going to do? Eat. As soon as we get the peppers and tomatoes out of the house yeah. to the tack room. We, this project was to make room in, the, in our germination tack room, seedling room, to uh, get those plants up here. So that's what we're going to do. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Well, I got to close the greenhouse uh, as the sun starts to go down. It starts to get cold quick. And we want to retain that temperature in here. Uh, we got automatic vents, one automatic vent on this. Actually, we had three, but two of them failed last year. So uh, we got to replace them this year but it's not as big a deal if we're not in the growing season we'll try to fix a little problem here if y'all can bear with me We may have finally killed this guava, but we are, it surprised us before. And I'm going to take this and put it over here on the, there we go, happier with that. So. We're just trying to get ready for the growing season. It's here, it's upon us. So, cleaning up, prepping. The bottom latch, a little bit stubborn. I would by no means say these are professional series greenhouses, but they have worked for us. This one will hopefully get tilled tomorrow. We'll go ahead and close it up so it can retain some heat. It's supposed to get cold here tomorrow, but we can bring the tiller in here, till this up, add pull weeds, add compost, and uh get it took care of the chickens were in here about a month ago we put them in here to uh tear up the ground and fertilize and uh it, it looks like it's worked very well um 
Some areas they fertilize better than other areas, but that'll be okay. Those plants will just grow better. <laughs> so we got to get the heat going in here. It's okay. So this is greenhouse number three. This was our makeshift greenhouse for years that started coming, taking, we started taking it apart last year. Didn't get finished. We're gonna try to get it finished this year. We'll use that area for growing space. But this is greenhouse number three. And obviously it's not finished, but we're getting ready to finish it. Lord's will. And there's Daniel and Tiffany. You all want to say hi before we close our video? Daniel, what are you helping mommy take to the barn, to the tack room, to our seed room? Are them pepper plants? Yeah. Are they hot peppers or sweet peppers? Hot. Yeah, they probably do, are. Do you like hot peppers? Dad. Dad, Dad does. Does mommy, mommy like hot peppers? No. <laughs> I do. Yeah. What kind of peppers does Daniel like? Sweet. Yeah. Sweet peppers. That's right. All you right, like everybody. Nardellos and show day shares, don't you? Yeah. I like those too. <laughs> we don't have show day share dolls this year, no. I don't think. All right, everybody. Tell everybody bye. Bye. Daniel, do we get a bye? Bye. <laughs>